So PARP proteins, or poly-ADP ribose polymerases, um, synthesize a protein modification called ADP ribose onto target proteins. Humans have 17 PARP proteins, and when I started my lab, the first thing we decided to do was try to understand what um, the uncharacterized PARPs uh, do in, in cells. We became very interested in PARP-16 due to the work of a graduate student in my lab, Sejo Vias, who essentially did the, the vast majority of the initial screening of the PARP family. And we identified PARP-16 as a um, protein in the endoplasmic reticulum. It had a very interesting phenotype uh, when you overexpressed it, and that was basically the assembly of these very large um, cytoplasmic aggregates that we later showed to be uh, endoplasmic reticulum. At that point, um, a postdoctoral fellow called Mary Joa uh, joined the lab and she sort of took over the project and we wanted to basically understand why we were getting this phenotype. So the first sets of experiments were designed to explain this, um, but we very quickly began to understand that this was due to the activation of a stress response and the stress response is called the unfolded protein response. A protein's structure is critical to its function. And it turns out that if a protein is not properly folded, it can be structurally defective and therefore useless for the cells. So the cell has devised many clever ways of making sure that the proteins are properly folded. One of these is called the unfolded protein response. Now, this is of, of importance to cancer because it turns out that many cancers are highly proliferative and they have an upregulation in protein synthesis so the unfolded protein response is, in many cases, upregulated in order to sort of deal with the cell's already increased protein synthesis load. The unfolded protein response is really mediated by three transmembrane sensors that are localized in the endoplasmic reticulum. Um, one of them is called PERC, which is kinase. There's another kinase called IRE1, and a third sensor is called ATF6. Under normal conditions, BIP, which is a chaperone protein, normally binds to ATF6, PERC, and IRE1, and inhibits them by their binding. But when misfolded proteins occur in the ER lumen, what happens is BIP has a high affinity to this misfolded protein, and it therefore binds to it instead of these three sensors. When BIP is no longer bound to these three sensors, this causes activation of them. This is the canonical uh, picture of, of how the unfolded protein response occurs. We've shown that PARP-16, and we don't really understand the mechanism quite yet, but we've shown that PARP-16 is responsible or required for activation of IRA1 and PERC kinase um, during uh, this process. We think that PARP-16 could be a very good target for cancer therapeutics, primarily because its role in regulating the unfolded protein response could be a way of specifically targeting the cancer cells that have an upregulated unfolded protein response. Therefore, if you take these cancer cells and then inhibit their ability to deal with unfolded proteins, that could lead to killing them.